Okay, today we're going to look at solving systems again, but this time we're going to solve. So when we use substitution, just so we go. So the first thing we want to do is get one of the equations to be x equals or y equals. It doesn't matter which variable you solve for, doesn't matter which equation, but one of them needs to be an x equals or a y equals. Pick the easiest thing to solve for. Whatever we get in step one, we're going to substitute that entire expression into the equation we did not work with. At that point, you are going to have an equation that has one variable. So now we're just going to solve that equation for the variable. So you're just solving an equation. At that point, uh, when you solve, you're either going to have an x equals or a y equals a number right here. So you're going to take that in and solve back in for the one you don't know. So if you know x, you need to solve for y. If you know y, you need to solve for x. Make sure you use one of your original equations to do that. And then finally, you need to write your answer as an ordered pair. Okay, if your answers aren't ordered pairs, they won't be counted as correct. So we're just going to work through some examples. So step one, we need a y or x equals. Well, I have that right here. I have y equals 3x. So what that means we are going to do is instead of having a y down here, I know that y equals 3x, so I'm going to substitute that in, this 3x, in here for y. So I'm going to have 2x. In place of the y, I put the 3x because that's what it equals from this, equals 10. And now I need to solve, so I would get 5x equals 10, divide by 5, x equals 2. Remember, our answer is an ordered pair, so I just found the x value. Now I need to find the y value. So what you're going to do is take this x equals 2 and plug it back in up here. I would choose this one right here. So if I know y equals 3x, I know x is 2, so this would be 3 times 2, so my y is 6 for our answer. Okay, so that one was already solved for us. That was a, kind of an easy one. Let's look at this one. We have two equations, x plus 3y equals 8, x minus 2y equals 3. So we need to solve for one of our variables. Remember, we want either an x equals or a y equals up here. So I'm going to solve for x, and you can pick whichever equation you want. I'm just going to take this bottom equation and solve for x, so I'm going to add the 2y over. So I get x equals 3 plus 2y, because that was easy to solve for. Now I'm going to use this equation, and in place of x in my top equation right here, I'm going to put in this 3 plus 2y. So I'm going to have 3 plus 2y, then I still have my plus 3y equals 8. So combine like terms, 3 plus 5y equals 8. Subtract the 3. 5y equals 5, divide by 5, so our y is 1. So again, our answer is an ordered pair. I just got my y. Now I need to find my x. So go back up into, so our example right here, if I know that y is 1, I can substitute 1 in here for my y, so I would get x plus 3 times 1 equals 8. So this would be x plus 3 equals 8, so I know x equals 5 for my answer. Okay, when you're solving for a variable, always choose a variable that doesn't have a number in front of it. So for example, on this one, when I need to solve for substitution, if I were to take my top equation and solve for y, I would have to divide by 3. I don't want to have to divide, so I'm going to take this top equation right here and I'm going to solve it for x because that's the easiest. So I have x plus 3y equals 7. Subtract the 3y, x equals 7 minus 3y. So now I used my top equation, so I'm not going to use it again. I have to use my second equation, and in place of x right here, I'm going to put this 7 minus 3y, because that's what x equals. So I'm going to have my 3y, I have minus the 4, in place of the x, this is what we're putting, 7 minus 3y equals negative 8. Now we need to solve for y, so the first thing we're going to have to do is distribute right here. So 3y, negative 4 times 7 would be minus 28. Negative 4 times negative 3y would be plus 12y equals negative 8. Combine my like terms, so 3y plus 12y, 15y minus 28 equals negative 8. Add the 28 over. 15y equals 20, 
divide by 15. So y equals 20 over 15. We're going to go ahead and leave them as fractions. Reduce that. 5 goes into both of them. So my y is 4 thirds. Remember, our answer is an ordered pair. So my y I just found is 4 thirds right here. I need to take one of my equations and substitute that y in to figure out what x is going to be. I'm going to use the top equation because it's x plus 3y equals 7. My y is 4 thirds, so x plus 3 times 4 thirds equals 7. 3 times 4 thirds, whoops, sorry, 3 times 4 thirds would just give me 4, so x plus 4 equals 7. Subtract the 4, and x would equal 3 for our answer, 3 comma 4 thirds. Okay, let's do another one here. Substitution, pick a variable to get rid of. It doesn't matter, or pick a variable to solve for. I'm going to go ahead and take my bottom equation right here and solve for x, because I can just add y. So I have x equals negative 4 plus y. Remember, I'm substituting that into my other equation for x. So I would have 3 times negative 4 plus y. I still have a plus y equals negative 12. Distribute negative 12 plus 3y plus y equals negative 12. Combine my like terms, negative 12 plus 4y equals negative 12. And then add 12. 4y equals 0. Divide by 4, so y is 0. So that's okay. Remember, we're doing an ordered pair, so my y is 0. Plug back in to get x. So if I plug back in right here, I have pick either equation. I'm just picking a simple one. So this would be x minus 0 equals negative 4. Well, that's gone, so just x equals negative 4. So this would be negative 4 comma 0 for our answer. Okay, one more here. I think this is my last one. Nope, a couple more. Solve using substitution again. y equals 2x plus 3, so y is already solved for. I know y is this. I'm going to substitute it in down here. So I'm going to have 2 times 2x plus 3. I still have my minus 4x equals 7. Distribute 4x plus 6, and I multiply this through, minus 4x equals 7. Combine like terms, oh, well, 4x minus 4x, that goes away. I'm left with 6 equals 7. Well, look at that. Is that a true st statement? That is not true. 6 does not equal 7. So this is a false statement. So whenever this is false, your answer is no solution. I don't want false written. I want no solution. That means those lines are never going to touch each other. They're parallel, and you would never cross if you think about graphing. So that's your answer if it is a false statement here. So this, yeah, this one is our last one right here. So solve for x or y. I'm going to just take this top equation right here. x plus y equals 8. Subtract my y. So x equals 8 minus y. Substitute this in for my x right here. So I have 2 times 8 minus y minus 16 equals negative 2y. Distribute 16 minus 2y minus 16 equals negative 2y. Combine like terms over here, 16 minus 16, well that goes away, so I have negative 2y equals negative 2y. Well, if I add that 2y over to get the y's together now, that would give me negative 2y plus 2y is 0. Over here is 0. So I have 0 equals 0. That is true. So if I get a true statement right here, my answer is infinite solutions. So that means that they are the same line. So if you get a true statement, it's infinite solutions. A false statement, it is no solution. Okay, and that is the end of our lesson for today. If you have questions, please let me know.